RisaCalc is a web-based application for individual component design, which provides engineers with an easy-to-use interface that allows for full control over inputs such as geometry and loading, in addition to graphical and numerical results, including robust detailed reports. In this video, we'll take a look at the Coldform Steel member design functionality in RisaCalc. So I already have a Coldform Steel beam defined. I'm going to go into Properties here, and we can see we can select our Coldform Steel material and our shape type. And then we can choose our shape profile. I'm going to choose this C shape and then choose a shape from the drop down here. So let's choose maybe a 10 CS 2.5105. And we can choose the material type as well. We can also see the properties of the material. And before we leave properties, I can go ahead and click on the gear at the top here. And we can look at the cold form steel uh, codes that are available here. So all the AISI codes as well as some Canadian codes as well. Next, I'm going to go ahead to my span definition. I'm going to keep a single span in this case, but I could change my boundary conditions. I could add a span. I can next go ahead and look at my design criteria. So I could change the bracing requirements for this particular beam. And so in this particular case, I'm going to brace for out of plane at the supports. I could go also and add braces in plane or at the top and bottom. I could also change some other criteria here. Next, I'm going to go to loads. And I'm going to add a few different point loads and distributed loads to this particular member. So let's start by adding a point load. So I'm going to add a point load of uh, half a kip and in the live load category. And let's go ahead and add that at three foot four. And then I'm going to add in a second point load of the same magnitude and the same category at six foot eight. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add in a distributed load. So let's choose a dead load distributed load. And I'm going to make this from 150 pounds a linear foot to 150 pounds a linear foot along the entire length of the member in this case. Now, once I have the dead and live loads added, I can go ahead and look at my load combinations. So we can see those have been automatically created for us. And then I can go ahead and click the check mark to toggle on the unity check. That's going to do the calculation and produce for me all the results that I need for this particular member, including the final unity check. And so I get a final code check here. I'm going to go ahead and minimize the detailed report so that we can look at some of the graphical uh, detailed output. And so I can see here I've got my deflection and my reactions on. Maybe I'll turn those off and turn on my moment diagram. We can see that our moment diagram shows uh, various results at various locations along the beam. I can also look at my shear diagram. You can also see that my loads are factored in this case for the governing load combination, 1.2 dead plus 1.6 live. I can also go ahead and look at my detailed report, see a lot of the same information for my load combinations or my diagrams, but really I can look at this for my calculations here. And so I can see my controlling limit states. So if we open up our bending and axial interaction check, we can go ahead and see all the different uh, properties of this particular check, all the different equations, and those equations filled out uh, with all the values from the design. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add in a column. So let's go ahead and click the plus button here to add in a column. I'm going to go ahead and change the properties in this case. Let's again make it a cold form steel member. And let's choose a different member type in this case. Let's take choose a Z shape. And so I'm going to set my size for that Z shape. So let's say a 10, uh, 3.25 by 070. And I can also go ahead and set my span here. I'm not going to do anything for the span here. And we're going to go ahead and look at our design condition. And so I'm going to change my out of plane for supports maybe. And maybe I also want to brace the top flange for some reason. Next, I can go ahead and add loads. And so I'm going to add in a point load at the mid span. So in the wind load category, let's go ahead and add in a 0.5 kip point load at the five foot dimension. And then I can go ahead and add in another point load. Let's make this a 1.5 kip magnitude in the dead load category. And let's add it in the vertical direction here. Finally, I can go ahead and add in a distributed load. So let's add in another distributed load. This can be a wind load as well. And we'll make this a uh, 150 pounds a linear foot to 250 pounds a linear foot. So an increasing load, a trapezoidal load. And we're going to make this along the entire length of the member. So from the zero to 10 foot location. Finally, we can see the load combinations. Again, those are being created for us based on the loads that we have applied. We could also make a modification if we wanted to and change the load combinations and how they're presented to us. 
But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and click the check mark and run the design and get the Unity check here. So I've got our final Unity check. So we can see in this particular case, I've got my shear diagram on. Maybe I'll turn off my load so we can see our shear diagram a little bit better. We can turn on our moment diagram and our deflection and even some of our reactions. And then let's go ahead and look at the detailed report. Again, we can see some of the properties of this particular member, our load combinations that are being included, and finally our calculations in this case. And so we can see here, maybe if we open up the shear analysis in this case, the different steps of this particular analysis that lead us to our controlling unity check. Now when we're ready, we could go ahead and click the download button to download or generate a PDF to, that we can review in Bluebeam or send over to an owner or a code official. And once that's ready, we can go ahead and open that PDF so that we can look at all the different information filled out uh, based on this particular design. Thank you for watching this video on cold form member design in RisaCalc. For more information about Risa and RisaCalc, visit risa.com.